guys, my name is Maggie, and here are some tips on how to salvage a scale infested rotting cactus. This is a Sirius Peruvianus monstrous, also known as the apple cactus. When it's healthy, it has a gorgeous blue and silvery hue with irregular undulating patterns along the stem. Not so with this guy. Firstly, it has been severely overwatered, so you can see the rotting, dark brown flesh at the base. Those mushy bits smelt like rotten eggs too. Mm -mm. Secondly, it is completely overrun with white scale. Essentially, tiny sap-sucking pests that lodge themselves onto plants like barnacles do on rocks at the beach. There are over 8,000 species of scale bugs and finding an insecticide that will specifically treat the type currently killing your plant is pretty difficult. So let's create an organic concoction with things you commonly have around the home. Mix two cups of water with a dash of eucalyptus oil and liquid hand soap. Ingredients strong enough to destroy and dissolve the scale without damaging the plant. Transfer this organic concoction into an empty spray bottle to attack the areas of interest. I used an old lens spray for cleaning glasses. Arm yourself with a weapon like this free toothbrush from Long Haul Flights. The soft bristles are perfect for pest removal because they aren't too abrasive on plants. Then don some personal protective equipment. P.S. Use cardboard paper to prevent getting impaled by the spines. Here we go, spray the concoction generously onto the white scale affected areas of the cactus. The toothbrush will be used to dislodge the bugs. Ah, oh, this poor plant, all those yellow patches are areas where the white scales were hosting a buffet. Unfortunately, the rot was way worse than anticipated. So with a clean and sharp tool, I had to amputate the brown rotting sections. Inspect each cross section after slicing until you arrive at one that is healthy green and rot free. Brushing time, close up version. For those of you who find it satisfying to watch the demise of plant pests with common household objects, Around the spines and inside the deep valleys, where pests like to play hide and seek. Rinse the cactus under some water if you have to, spray the concoction generously, and repeat. Keep going until you're confident you've dislodged all the bugs. I don't like the look of all that yellow mush. You're supposed to slice two inches above the rot, but I'm like, what if you only have one inch left of the entire cactus? Now that we've got a cross section that's pretty green with the next to no yellow or brown rot, let's appreciate how far we've come. Come on, like what a big difference. Next, cover the wound at the base of the cactus with some cinnamon powder, which acts as a natural fungicide to help it heal and prevent opportunistic diseases. Cornstarch or sulfur powder works fine too. Quarantine the cactus on its side in a dry spot away from direct sunbeams until the callus is formed. It's important to wait till the callus is formed to reduce the risk of rot. The larger the wound on your cactus, the longer it'll take for it to heal. Here is the Sirius Peruvianus monstros three days after the treatment. The scab feels like a dehydrated slice of orange. Okay, basically it's calloused, it's ready to be rooted in soil. Unfortunately, it has suffered some blunt trauma from the treatment, and I can't afford to slice it any thinner. Whew, okay, I don't know if it'll survive, but let's give it a chance. The last thing we want is for it to rot again from overwatering. So I'm using a nursery pot and soil mix with ample drainage, like cactus potting mix with extra perlite. Now to negate the need to water it until a few weeks later, I've lightly pre-moistened the soil. Move it to a brightly lit area away from direct beams of sunlight. To check if it's rooted after a few weeks, simply prod it to feel for resistance. Then water it sparingly when the soil gets bone dry. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something. The cactus actually belonged to my dad and he was about to discard it. When I told him I'd try and rescue it, he legit said, okay, just make sure you don't overwater it. 
Ah, dad. If you've become attached to the serious Peruvianus monstros, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to follow along on its rehabilitative journey. Bye! Yeah.